Welcome everyone to Unscripted Coding. Today we're going to talk about prompt engineering and that is of course related to AI chatbots. Now I know this is a hot button issue whether people who fiddle with prompts should be called engineers but there is a bit of an art and today we're going to talk a little bit about resources and something called multi-step prompts. So let's come back for a moment here. I have Claude pulled up here. It is Anthropic's answer to ChatGPT and it's just yet yeah, another AI chatbot. So if I ask it, hello, how's it going? Uh, you're going to get a response very similar to what you would see with any other uh, AI chatbot, whether that is Copilot or Gemini or ChatGPT. Now the thing about prompt prompting is that it's just asking questions and in many ways it's not difficult to do because when you ask AI to do things, the clearer you are, the better. And so think about when you are engaging it to write an email for you. It it's very difficult for it to put out a great answer right off the bat if you just say, help me write this email, because what it's missing is, who are you? What's the context? Who do you work for? What is your uh, you know normal writing style? Lots of these things that, you know, people might pick up in the environment. So if you're asking a human assistant, uh, let's say a poor intern to help you write your email, uh, it already gets a bit of the context just being, say, in the office with you or being with you physically. It knows how you talk, it knows how you present yourself, it knows who you are, it knows what business uh, you're in, all of these factors. And so when you write a prompt for AI, you want to be very specific. You want to tell it who it is, what it is doing, what its objectives are, all of that. And so um, I am going to pick a random one here and uh, let's see this pundit. Um, it's telling you, you're an AI assistant with a witty sense of humor and a knack for crafting clever puns and wordplay. You're giving it a role to begin with. When a user provides a topic, your task is to generate a list of puns, plays on word, uh, play on words, or humorous phrases related to that topic. So it has a role, an instruction, and then further instructions here. The wordplay should be original, creative, and aim to elicit a laugh or a groan from the reader. So it's very, very specific. Um, if you ask your friends for a pun, they might get your sense of humor. Um, in this case, you know, uh, a groan is okay, but sometimes when I'm asking for a pun from my friends, I, I lean towards more the witty side rather than uh, the cheesy, groany type of thing. Um, so there are so many of these. And what I found interesting is that Claude Anthropic also put out this meta prompt, a prompt to make prompts. Okay, and so um, you can take a look at the text, I think it's right here, uh, where you'll be writing instructions to an eager, helpful, but inexperienced and unworldly AI assistant, blah, blah, blah. And then it's telling you, here's how you would do it. Now, what I found very interesting is that um, there is a caveat right here that uh, this is designed for a single turn question response prompt, not multi-turn. What this means is you're asking it to provide one answer, one specific answer. And a great way of doing this is say translation. So I want to translate uh, English to French every time there is just a single response. However, there are more and more GPTs and, and prompts that are multi-turn, meaning you are working with the user to um, to build it up. And so, for example, if we go back to our pundit, 
prompt, uh, you might say at the end, you should ask the user on a scale of one to 10, how witty do you think it should be? And how grown worthy should it be one to 10? And so today, what I wanted to talk about first is all of this GPT stuff, uh, prompting stuff, but also past 101 to 102, which is this multi-step, which I haven't seen a whole lot of yet. Let's take a look at another random example here. Um, memo, uh, sure, you know what, Memo Maestro here. Uh, your task is to compose a comprehensive company memo based on the provided key points. So overarching role, the memo should be written in a professional tone, addressing all the relevant information in a clear, concise manner. This is flowing into the instructions now. So let's start tweaking this prompt to become multi-turn. Okay, let's start this off. So I still want this comprehensive company memo, but I want to take out the tone part. You should address all relevant information in a clear and concise manner, use appropriate formatting such as headings, blah, 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 ensure that um, before you begin, you should ask me what sort of tone you want me to strike. That way I can say something like more casual type of memo or hyper professional, hyper button down. Um, you can also add and chain this down with more, um, more, uh, more options. So uh, another common method is um, giving the user a couple options in which I only need to respond one, two, or three. So in this case, you should also give me uh, three options in which I can decide just by giving you a number. Each option should should be one. Mm, I'm trying to think of what options I might make when I have memo. Um, in, uh, format it to plain text, to format it to markdown, three, format it, copy and paste it. So here is our first attempt. We just modified this memo maestro to ask us two options. One is tell us what kind of tone you want, and second is a couple of options for formats. So as you can see, now the chatbot's engaging me uh, one, I'd like the tone to be very informal, but still suitable for the workplace. And option two, please. Some of the really impressive things I've seen with this are the games, the, the choose your own adventure prompts in which you start off with a uh, with a background and it's constantly giving you three options for the user to to continue the story so in this case um it now is ready to prepare the memo so i'm going to give them the same 
kind of user inputs here. And this looks like a well enough memo. Okay, so one last one, fun one. I'm going to go off uh, the, the microphone for a bit and we can play around of something in a sec. And here we go. Um, you're helping me create a choose your own adventure game. Your role is to tell the next part of the story and then give me four options for the main character, the protagonist to take. When I select an action, you will continue the story and then provide me another four options and you will keep doing this indefinitely. So the idea is, you know, hopefully they give me a paragraph or two in the story, give me four options like, uh, uh, I don't know, uh, go to, the temple, go to the streets, go uh, to the palace, and go to the stable. Choose. Uh, the setting The setting for this story is in ancient Mesopotamia. I am a priest who discovered a young thief trying to steal from the temple coffers. Please begin the tale now and offer me four numbered options to choose from. So hopefully this will work just fine. You are a priest in the ancient city of Ur, one of the most revered cities of Mesopotamia. As you were making your evening rounds through the temple, you caught sight of a young urchin attempting to pry open the sacred coffer that held the temple's most valuable treasures. With a booming voice, you called out, You there! Unhand those riches at once, you filthy street rat! The young thief froze, eyes wide with fear. What should you do next? Perfect. So... Um, let's reason with the child and see what, where that takes us. You decide to hear the child out before taking any rash actions with an authoritative tone, blah, 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 blah. And then you get to choose again. And so, um, you can see that with a fun prompt, you can really... Uh, you can really uh, keep this going for, for quite some time and really enjoy yourself. And I sometimes wonder how, you know, how video games might look in the future because generative AI opens a lot of different doors. Um, anyways, the main point is I think these multi-turn, multi-step prompts are something that we don't see a lot of yet. If you look at, you know, your company newsletter or whatever tips you see on LinkedIn, uh, there's a lot of these canned prompts that you can find right on Anthropic's website. But um, the really fun, useful ones are getting to a point where they're multi-step. You can interact with it in different ways before it spits out an answer. Hopefully you found that interesting, and I will see you next week for another video on unscripted coding.